ladies and gentlemen, the members of the Order of the Golden Heart. Your devotion extends far beyond our chapter homes. You've spent decades serving brothers through our national programs, becoming a staple of Carlson Leadership Academies and Grand Chapter Conclaves. Your generosity has made you a key supporter of the Nuts McAuliffe Society, SIGEP Educational Foundation, and your Home Chapters Foundation. Through your relentless energy and optimism, you become the brother so many others can lean on. Brother Steve Shanklin frequently tells the story of Sigma Phi Epsilon as a journey of innovation. Much like our founders and the key leaders who followed since, you, my brother, are an innovator. Before most Greek organizations even thought about how to utilize the untapped potential of the internet, you'd already established SIGEP's first blog. You created a space where brothers from around the world could come to share opinions, insights, and information to open the red door in pursuit of our cardinal principles. You established a conclave social media breakfast in 2005 to help chapters prepare and plan their social media presence long before ongoing training and support was available. As one of your nominators said, he is exactly that SIGEP nerd that has driven the fraternity forward, the kind of guy that would hang out in the lobby at Carlson and Conclave until 2 a.m. until that very last undergraduate who wanted to chat finally wore himself out. Then and only then would he go to sleep. But you're more than a mentor and pioneer, you're the embodiment of brotherly love. Years ago, you launched a group for brothers struggling with alcoholism to provide them community and support while at Conclave. This is yet another instance where you saw a need and took action, a true SIGEP innovator. It's certainly no surprise that you value the community and friendships found within our brotherhood. As a young Navy veteran returning to college, you were seeking out the kind of community that you built with your shipmates. You found it in a group of friends who asked you to join a unique brotherhood dedicated to shared ideals. Since then, you've been a trusted helper for the brothers of your home chapter. Even while living nearly a thousand miles away, you still made time to attend officer retreats, fundraising dinners, alumni events, and much more. After returning to the area, you found the century-old chapter in a period of struggle and possibly near closure. And just as they had so many times before, brothers turned to you. You humbly accepted the position of chapter counselor and guided the chapter through the turbulent time with your ever-present patience, kindness, and brotherly love. Today, the chapter has nearly 120 members, an educational foundation that to date has given out over a million dollars in scholarships to support undergraduate chapter members, and is actively working toward improving chapter culture while operating in a challenging campus environment. Brother, you've worked to make the chapter experience at your home chapter of Tennessee Alpha at the University of Tennessee as meaningful for brothers today as it was for you. And for more than 30 years, you've also been a relentless workhorse for the brothers of Texas Delta and many others around the world. For your years of humble service to your brothers, I now present you Brother Bryce Kiesler with the Order of the Golden Heart. I've told people that, who ask why I got involved in SIGEP. I came to my first conclave in 1975 in St. Louis. And I came because we had, uh, one of our brothers was uh, to be touted for the National Board of Directors. And in fact, he was elected to the, one of the early slots on the National Board. He, uh, he asked for people to come with him, and I had been in the chapter all of about six months, so I figured, why not? It's a road trip. And I don't know. I, I saw there a bunch of old men with gray hair. I don't know where they might have come from, but I saw them who had been serving their fraternity, who had been supporting people like the young men in my chapter, 
and myself for most of their adult lives. And it made an impression on me that just would not go away. And so I kept coming back. And when I graduated, I kept coming back. And I figured if I could help in any way, I would do that. So I suited up and showed up and did what was needed. And that's really all I've got to say about it, except that, you know, yes, I'm a nerd. I'm a data guy. Those of you who know me well know that. And yes, this will be on Facebook before, the, before I leave the building. Uh, but seriously, I saw, as they said, I saw that the power of social media, the power of the internet, could do a lot to advance our ideals and to show others our values, and to let people know about the good that we do in the world and not just wait on the news media to tell us about the bad we do in the world. And I think that's important. I also, at the time, thought it was very important for the chapter in Maine to be able to communicate with the chapter in California and perhaps to share some ideas and to build a network. And that's what I strove to do, sometimes with the help of uh, the folks at headquarters and sometimes in spite of them. <laughs> but I think over the years, the vision has been adopted and a few years ago, I stopped doing that blogger's breakfast or the social media breakfast, quite frankly, because everybody was doing what we had been striving to build. And I felt the work was done. We didn't need it. Headquarters now with their chapter, uh, the chapter spot, uh, the chapter uh, websites, I think is, uh, cutting a bold new path, and I think that's great. And I look forward to seeing that get mature and uh, build our brand even better. I'm sitting up here, quite honestly, with a, with a fair sense of imposter syndrome uh, because I don't know why I'm here, uh, honestly, except that I care about SIGEP and I plan to keep caring about SIGEP. And uh, thank you, thank you all for the support, the love that I feel right now. And I've gotta get, I gotta give a quick shout out before I, shut, before I stop. There are two brothers who were in the chapter with me who came tonight and uh, one of them was at, me, was at that same first conclave in 1975, 44 years ago. This is his second conclave. And the other one was with the, with the in the chapter with me, and he uh, and I, when I lived in Houston, would get together quite often. But I could never get him to come to anything SIG yet. But he's here tonight. And uh, I should have known something was up. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs>